What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. If you watched my last video, you knew that this video was coming. Me and my wife are out at the ranch today and we are doing a little hunting. We have a super old ram out here um, and we think he went blind in one of his eyes because he cannot, he kind of just wanders and um, I don't think he can find water very well. So we're gonna put him out of his misery and my wife Angel has been wanting to shoot a ram uh, to get a European mount in her office too. So, and my dad has a buddy that can come pick up all the meat. So it's all going to good cause. Um, he needs to be taken off or else he'll get eaten by predators. Suffering, I guess. So uh, we just went inside the 45 cal in that I picked up from Air Force yesterday. And uh, we're about to go out, see if we can find him and then uh, put a spot and stalk on him and she's gonna shoot off sticks. So this is Angel's first big animal with the air rifle. Um, we were sighting it in, she was shooting it. She said that she liked it because it didn't kick like every other gun. So, perfect gun for uh, kids and your wife and you, but it's an all-around good gun. Uh, safely, um, I would shoot it out to 120 yards uh, at big game, but hopefully we can get in a little closer than that today. I think we should be able to. This is what the 45 um, projectile looks like. It's a big boy. Put a couple in my pocket. Heavy. We just spotted him. He's uh he's bedded down. We're gonna he's about 150 yards right now. We got a perfect wind and uh um and we got a bunch of trees that we can sneak up behind and get closer to him. So we're gonna try uh try to work our way, get in a little bit closer and try to get a shot within 50 yards, but we'll see what happens. Got him. <sighs> She's not too happy because he didn't go down instantly, but she made a good shot. Uh, it was a little high. I think I saw him fall down over here, but we're about to come around this tree and check. This didn't kick back at all. Huh? This didn't kick back at all. Yeah, it's good. So we're gonna give him a little bit of time though, just in case, and <sighs> we can peek around this corner see if he's there, but give him some time to do his thing. So we walked around the corner and he's done. Good shot. He's big too, he's nose up. He didn't go far at all. He didn't go anywhere. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good one. Set up. From behind, <laughs> hold it from behind. They're heavier than they look. Hold it from behind his horns. <laughs> Dang, they're heavy, and this one. Yeah. 
That's a good one. I look good in your office. Guys, y'all can probably see um, both of his eyes are white. We never knew this uh, till about a week ago. I guess I don't know if he got sick and that happened or if it's just because of old age. He is a super old ram. So, um, and this is the second ram that we've had that that horns connect in the middle. That is awesome. So, but you can see he can't, he couldn't see. Um, so, we had to put him out of his misery, but his meat will not go to waste and his horns will not go to waste. So, good shot. All right, got some pictures. Now it's time to go clean him. Go clean them. All right, so my plan is to take some meat, whether it be backstrap or ham. Daisy, hush. She, she gets excited when we get, bring animals back. But I'm gonna put it in the crock pot with some potatoes, carrots, Try to make a stew out of it because last time we just did it over the open grill or open fire and it was tough. Um, so we're gonna try to slow cook it, make a stew, and uh, see if we can make it taste good like that. But the rest of the meat is going to my dad's buddy. Uh, he picks up all the meat that we can't take in. So none of it's going to waste, but we're gonna hang him up real quick, clean him. I'm gonna take the head off, uh, do European Mountain Angel's office. So I got my northern knives. Uh, this is the Mac. This thing has cleaned a bunch of animals since I've started YouTube, since I started working with um, northern knives. And I haven't got it professionally sharpened by them. They keep telling me to send them back in so they can uh, sharpen them. I just haven't found the time to run to the post office, which I do have time to do it. I just haven't done it. But northern knives, you can literally take your knife, um, send it to them for free. Obviously, you have to pay for shipping and that's it, but they will rehone your knife and um, sharpen it for you for life. So, uh, go check them out. Their link will be in the description. Let's get this guy hung up. So, you guys know how YouTube is. Um, I'm not going to show this process. I will show the meat that I take off of it right after I do it. All right, guys, I took this front shoulder um, I'm gonna take it home break it down keep the bones in it and put everything in the crock pot with all the spices and seasonings and stuff like that so um, I'm going to uh, put this guy in a bag we'll put the rest of them in the freezer or the cooler for uh, my dad's buddy and uh, see you guys in the kitchen all right guys so I have the I have the meat in the crock pot I went ahead and put that in there and I put a, uh, a whole box of chicken stock. So I'm just gonna let that simmer for a few hours and then we'll wait for it to uh, start falling apart. All right guys, so now I have added uh, sweet potato chunks and carrots and the meat is still pretty tough. So I'm gonna let it cook a little longer, see if it will, uh, see if it will tender up a little more, but probably give it another hour or an hour and a half and see what it looks like after that. But. Stay tuned, we are going to be eating it. I hope it is good, but leave in the comments what you guys think it'll taste like. Okay, so it is 11.47. This has been in the crock pot for at least five hours. And I went to go hunt, and I checked it before I went to go hunt, and it was still super, super tough. So I don't think it's gonna get any better. I'm going to cut off a piece and try it and see what it tastes like i mean you can see that is oh my goodness that is so tough i'm gonna have to put this on a plate there's no way that this is gonna taste good might turn into dog food let's cut this little skin off all right, 
see what it tastes like. Hmm. I can't even swallow that. That is awful. I thought I was gonna be able to make this good by slow cooking it all day long. I thought it was just gonna fall apart and I was gonna be able to make like a nice soup. I literally cannot even swallow that. That gets a zero, that even smells like dog food. Ooh, I don't know if it was the ram or, because the last ram that we ate was not bad and it was actually, actually it was kind of good. That right there is just, that's the worst rating I've ever given on this channel. Wow, that is terrible. I don't even know, let's, let's try a carrot, see how bad the carrots are. Carrots taste good. I'll give it a carrot to four. But that right there, turning that into dog food and the rest of it. So, ugh, that is bad. All right, let's give them a little midnight snack. One each. Can you shake? Can you shake? Shake. Oh, good girl. Can you shake? Up, up, up. Come on, come here, up, up. Oh, that was good enough. Good boy, good doggies. So they get some more treats. I'm gonna put this in the fridge for them tomorrow. But uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Shooter behind the camera did a great job. I'm not gonna try it after your review. <laughs> yeah, she would definitely not eat this and she would definitely not <laughs> like it. So. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.